Well, good afternoon everybody and welcome to Hendersford Hills Raceway this uh, Bank Holiday Monday afternoon the 25th of May for round five of the National Series for the Classic Hot Rods for the UK and out there on pole position we have 222 Cheshire's Shane Taylor in a resplendent car that he has built this is his debut meeting for 2015 complete with brand new 2V race engine 2 litre power and we wish Shane well starting from the C grade pole position this afternoon for heat one in the B grade we have 444 Gary Andrew and 31 that's Steve Gooding and moving back to the uh, A graders we welcome from Aberystwyth in Mid Wales, 57, Mike Oliver, and alongside him is 88, Dave Owen. Both of them debuting for the first time in 2015. 192, Ken Married, and then we have 72, Gary Goodswin. On this is uh, first upgraded meeting from his uh, debut for 2015, having done three races in the novice grade. Okay, On to the star men, 445, Graham Boyd, and 333, your national champion is Lee Wood. Beginning to roll now with 20 Dave Fry and 121 Charlie Shambry. Number 8 is Darren Owen. 45 Craig Boyd, who will have a busy afternoon ahead of him racing both the Classics and the Lightning Rods this afternoon. 58, the newly upgraded driver of Steve Lumley. Is on a meteoric rise since his start with the White Tops at the beginning of the year. 144 is Tim Foxlow, and your national champion with the silver roof is 198 Andy Stewart. So we're on the roller for the first race of the afternoon for the Classics. Shane Telly, your pole man. Headed around by the start marshal. They drop the green and we go racing for the first time and Shane takes them away. Mike Oliver, no time to leave the practice and he's away. Dave Owen gives him a weak punt as he moves through turn at number three. The rest of the traffic comes through. On 21, Charlie Shemby, your tail man. So, 22, triple two, I should say. Shay Telly, your early race leader. 444, Gary Andrews in second place. Going around on the outside, 57, Mike Oliver, making a great progress. Going wide through turn at number three and out of four. Right behind him is Dave Owen again, comes at one at nine two. Ken Marriott. Oh, and oh my goodness me, how on earth did Dave Owen save that? Vale, what a, a tank slap as we went through turn three. A little bit of a race incident there then in the classic heat number one. Everybody was getting a little bit tail happy as they were going through those early stages. So we'll have a little bit of a while before uh, we get the uh, track cleared. So 
there's certainly a bit of action as we uh, have entered the first race of the afternoon for the Classics. So as the uh, track start clear, you can see that uh, Shay Taylor has been able to maintain his lead with everything cracking off immediately behind him. 57 Mike Oliver has made uh, a tremendous start to his return of racing as he's currently lying in second place. And 31 Steve Gooding has also done well as he continues his many weight in third. Look out for 3-3-3 Lee Wood and 4-4-4 uh, four, four, four Gary Andrews seems to be uh, electing to come back into position in the fifth grade spot. 20 is Dave Fry and then we have the rest of the field behind them with uh, 198 Andy Stewart and Daz Owen in number 8 amongst them and then comes uh, 144 Tim Foxlow. On the infield, 121 Charlie Shembury, uh, your early race casualty. As we look now for the uh, track staff to clear the uh, cars of 192 Ken Marriott and 88 Dave Owen. We will have to see as to whether that means that their racing is over for the day. Ken's most certainly will be. As for Dave in his brother's car, we will have to see as to whether that will allow him out again. Quite an exciting uh, start to the racing, perhaps a little bit too frenetic. Something I miss with Mike, perhaps. So, four cars out, 12 remaining. And we'll put it on hold just while we wait for the restart.